Chinese father keeps 26 million euros, which is basically 26 million dollars right now, lottery win secret from his wife and child to stop them becoming lazy. Can you imagine a loved one doing this to you? That is so insane. A man in China is keeping his 219 million won, or 26 million euro lottery winnings, a secret from his wife and child because he fears knowledge of the jackpot would make them lazy. To protect his anonymity, the man, who only identified himself by the pseudonym Mr. Lee, dressed in a yellow cartoon character costume to claim his winnings at the lottery office in Nanning. In the southern region of Guangxi, last week on October 24th, Nanning Evening News reported, Mr. Lee said he was thrilled about the win but wanted to hide his identity and keep the jackpot a secret from his wife and child. Now here's the thing. If you are ever lucky enough to win the lottery, yes, you want to keep your identity a secret. But no, tell your wife and kid. Like that literally makes no sense, right? Because this money is to be used to take care of yourself and your family, aka your wife and kid. Why hide it to them so that they could end up working hard? Like, with this type of money, if you manage it correctly, you never have to lift a finger for the rest of your life and then some. I understand you want good character. There's nothing wrong with that. But still, you are basically putting a burden on the shoulder of your family members for literally no reason. I did not tell my wife and child for fear they would be too complacent and would not work or work hard in the future, he told Nanning Evening News. Mr. Lee bought 40 tickets for the draw and shop in Luting, a town east of the regional capital of Nanning. Each ticket purchase had the same seven numbers, with the lottery company paying out 5.48 million won for each ticket. After realizing he held the winning numbers of 2, 15, 19, 26, 27, 29, and 2, the man said he took a train to the state capital on Friday, October 21st to collect his winnings. Mr. Lee then stayed in a hotel over the weekend before claiming his prize on Monday. I did not leave the hotel because I was afraid to go out and lose the lottery ticket, he told Nanning Evening News. After collecting the 171.6 million won after tax, Mr. Lee said that he had donated 5 million won to charity and had not yet decided what to do with the rest of his newfound fortune. Mr. Lee said he had been playing the lottery for over a decade and had only ever won a few dozen yen. He said his previous strategy was to choose a new set of numbers each time, but chose to stick to a favored set of numbers a few years ago after having no luck. And the Chinese government holds national lotteries to raise money for welfare and cultural programs. Winners are taxed on their payout. Now, here's the interesting thing, right? Because I don't really know what would be the best way to invest if you lived in China, right? Because I don't know any of the investing laws in China or anything like that, right? But I'm going to answer this basically, what would I do if I were to win $26 million from a lottery, right, from my perspective. Number one, pay any debt that I have completely off. I don't have any debt. If you want to learn how to get out of debt, go down below. But if I did have debt, I would immediately pay off all the debt. I would then create a basically six-month to even a year emergency fund just because the type of money that we're talking about, like your expenses are basically nothing in comparison to that. So having like a year in cash just in your bank account ain't that big of a deal, right? So I'd probably leave more close to like a year. Next, I would end up basically either start buying homes or start putting money into index funds or basically just do both at the same time, 
right? But for housing, you probably want to find a deal and whatnot. But with index funds, I would just immediately start putting it into a few different ones. But basically, like SPY, SPY is a good one, right? I'd probably put a good amount of money into SPY because it would pay you out in a dividend that technically with this type of money, you could actually probably live off of just the dividend it craps out all the time, which is pretty nice, right? Like, that's probably what I would do, right? Because I'd pretty much just try to set it up to where my investments bring in so much money that, technically speaking, I would never have to physically work for money ever again in my life. That's the way that I would set up my winnings. And anyone who ends up getting lucky enough with, like, a lottery win or some sort of windfall, like an insurance payout payout or whatever, like anything, anything that's a very large sum of money, some like a money amount that you've never had before, try to set it up to where that money will produce some sort of income for you, right? Now, you could just set that income up to basically keep reinvesting into more and more assets if you're not even needing to touch that investment money, or you could just set it up to where it just pays you an income basically every single year, right? Like if you're making a few six figures per year, literally not lifting your fingers at all, or even wiping your own butt, like what would you do in life, right? What would you do in life if you could bring in multiple six figures every single year without physically having to go and make that money. It's something to think about. But the cool thing about this is that it would give you a lot of free time. And this is the biggest thing that bothers me about this guy not like informing his wife and kid is like you could basically have them focus on something that they would truly enjoy. Right. Instead of just working hard to work hard, you could have them work hard towards something that they really enjoy. Right. Maybe the wife likes real estate. She could maybe work very hard in real estate because she has the freedom to go find a good deals and all that kind of stuff. Maybe the kid wants to be an, like an artist or a musician. OK, they have the free time to be able to work really hard at that specific option. Right. So let them work hard but let them work hard in something that they actually enjoy instead of just working hard to work hard. Let's see some of the comments. So what exactly was he planning uh, playing the lottery for if not to try and make life more comfortable for his family? Divorce his wife and leave his kid destitute. He clearly wants it for himself. Emergency funds. He won twenty six million. I wonder what he earns that it was an emergency fund for. You know, it'd be even crazier if this like individual who played the lottery is like a multi multi millionaire. Anyways, money makes greedy. If it was the other way around, he would be mad as hell if she kept that a secret. Bonkers, happy to lose the family's money on tickets, but not tell them about a win. Which is a weird thing, right? Like you're willing to spend money, like hard-earned money on lottery tickets, but not spending the lottery winnings on the family. Seems really weird. Sounds like a lovely human being, not. Perhaps he doesn't want his child to turn out like the Beckham's waste of space son. And see, here's the thing. Right? Again, there's nothing wrong with wanting your family to still be hard workers. There's nothing wrong with that. But to not take care of them to where they don't got to worry about stuff financially is just weird. He is keeping it from them because he wants total control. How insulting to his wife that is, keeping her working and worrying for the family's future and for him perhaps having some nice things and comforts. He, however, has the money and no worries. Pig. Interesting. Feel free to give your thoughts on this. I I really don't like how this individual um, did this. It feels really dirty, you know? Like, 
if you were to play the lottery, which you're, if you play it, you're going to lose your money, honestly. But if you're going to play the lottery, to not use the winnings to, like, take care of the people closest to you is just so disgusting, right? Like, I hope anyone who ends up stumbling upon this never does that. Like, take care of the people that you love and enjoy the rest of the money. Like, set it up to where you could, like, live a very good life forever and never worry about money ever again. This is just so crazy to me.